and we see them now in the upper room, under the end of them, I mean, in one accord. So it means there's an environment that gives birth to the coming of the Holy Spirit. So there's an environment that gives the coming now of the Holy Spirit. Some will say, ah, you cannot come to God unless Holy Spirit is the one that leads you to God. It's correct. But there are dimensions, as the Bible says, we move from glory unto glory. Yes, it's true. No man can come to God. It is the Holy Spirit that brings conviction. So when we preach, Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ died for you. It is the Holy Spirit that brings conviction. Amen. But after coming to, to, after believing, the same way we see the disciples had already believed, they had to wait. The problem that we are having, men of God, is the moment someone received already, we are starting a ministry without the power of the Holy Spirit. But we need to wait and to be patient in Jerusalem. And what is Jerusalem? Someone might ask. And then the Bible says, you have come to Jerusalem. Amen. The city that was is not made by human hands. We have come to God. Amen. So this is the Jerusalem. When we come to God, that is the Jerusalem. We have come to Jerusalem. Then they were standing in the physical Jerusalem, which is in Israel. But as we have come to Jerusalem, which is the heavenly Jerusalem. Amen. Am I making sense? Yes. Amen. We have Amen. come to the Jerusalem of God. So it is where we get the Holy Spirit. Amen. As a gift by God. It is a gift. It is a promise. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus promised that he said, I will go to the Father and I will ask him to send the Holy Spirit to come forth. And we also know that they were waiting. Amen. We need to learn to wait. What does it mean? We wait in prayer. We remain. As Jesus was saying, remain in Jerusalem. In other words, he was saying, remain in prayer. Amen. The problem is we get into prayer and we are, we are, we are so much in a rush to go out. Remain in prayer. Hallelujah. Remain in prayer. Do not be in a rush. Remain in the secret place. For the Bible says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God, Amen. He shall say, Of God is my refuge, He is my fortress, He is my banner. So this, the secret is to remain. You are not in a hurry. You are not in a rush. Remain in the secret place. Remain in the place of prayer. Amen. Prayer is a it's a, a spiritual system. It's a system of, of authorization, of inviting the heaven in the affairs of humanity. Amen. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Hallelujah. Am I communicating? Amen. If you pray, God is going to answer. Amen. So what is going to happen today? The Holy Spirit is going to come down with the fire and the thunder. Hallelujah. Some will begin to speak in new tongues. Some will begin to prophesy. Some will begin to see visions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray. I mean, you cannot come Amen. to the house of God and you are asked to be a preacher and you don't pray. No, I was praying. And our God is faithful. Amen. 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 So be excited Hallelujah. this afternoon. The power of the Holy Ghost is going to move. Hallelujah. He's going to do Hallelujah. what he does best. Amen. The sick are going to be healed. If you've got a relative that is not feeling well, be prepared. They're going to be healed. Amen. If you are not, if yourself you are sick, God is going to touch you. Amen. Because we've got a God that he experiences in healing the sick. Amen. By the power of the Spirit. Amen. By the power of life. Holy Spirit is the power of life. Amen. He is the seal of our adoption. So without the Holy Spirit, remember who is talking about the mark of the beast? The, the Antichrist will give his mark, but already the, God has given us a, a seal, a mark. And that man is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because we are not born of flesh nor of blood, but we are born of the Spirit. Amen. We are not born of flesh nor of blood. As we are sons of God. It is the Spirit of God that even comes and gives a testimony that we are sons of God. And the Bible says those that move by the Spirit, them are sons of God. So to be a son of God, you move by the Spirit. Amen. 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 Am I communicating? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Am I communicating? Say amen. If I amen. amen. That is Romans chapter number 8, verse 14. Those that walk in the Spirit are the sons of God. And the Spirit is the Holy Spirit. 
And in Acts chapter number 1, verse 4, Holy Spirit is a gift of God to a believer. Because God knew that the walk, this walk, is not a marathon. That's why it's called a walk. It's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a sprint, but it's a marathon. In school, I used to run mar marathons, 21 kilometers and so forth. You don't start it like this. You won't last. Amen? <laughs> Amen. You take it what? Because it's a walk. And God knowing, Jesus knowing, the challenges that we will face in this world, the wolves that are out there, the temptation, the challenge, even the devil himself, when he fell from heaven, he was there. He was a, he was one of the covering angels. If you read the, in the book of Ezekiel, Isaiah and Jeremiah, you, you hear that he was actually you know, the one that was in the presence of God. So he, he came down with all the power that he had because the gifts of God, they are with no repentance. You see that? That's why even someone prophesies as a gift of prophecy and he goes, you know, Back. They can keep on doing that thing, but it will take the spirit of God for you to be able to discern now the spirits. Amen. Because the gifts of God, they are with no what repentance. Hallelujah. He, he, he keep you, you allow you to do whatever you're doing until the day of what? Until the, the, the day of judgment. So what is a church? We're talking of okay, they were in one accord because they were in church. A church is not a building. But it is a spiritual infrastructure. A spiritual mm -hmm. infrastructure. That is there as an image, likeness, influence, power, and life of Jesus. That is a church. So a church is just a group of believers that God is bringing together, you know, so that they grow into the image, into the likeness and into the influence of Jesus Christ. So that at the end of the day, when people begin to see us, they will see Jesus in us. Amen. Amen. That's why when you read your Bible now, 